In this video, I'm going to show you what you will need and what you will have to do to mod Starfield on the PC. In order to mod Starfield, the first thing you need to do is actually enable modding. So we're going to start with that and step one is to use Windows Explorer to navigate to the Documents folder. From there, you will go to My Games and then you will find Starfield. Once there, right click anywhere within the folder and select New Text Document. You will want to rename this document Starfield Custom .ini. It will ask you if you want to change it, select Yes. You can then double left click to open this file with your default text editor or right click and open it with whichever text editor you desire. You then need to add the following lines. I will uh, leave the text in the description of this video down below so you can basically copy and paste into the file. You can then press Control S or go to File and Save. You can close that and you're basically done. If you're watching this video after Bethesda released the official modding tools, you may not need to do this. However, having a Starfield custom.ini file is actually going to be useful in modding, so if you do it, it's not going to hurt you. Next, you'll need a place to download the mods from, obviously, and in all likelihood, the go-to place for such mods is going to be the Nexus mod site. So sign up for an account there. Now, there is a free account and there is a premium account. You will have access to the same mods regardless of which you choose. The premium account gives you faster downloads and no adverts. But the free account is enough for now. You can obviously upgrade later on if you want to support the site or get faster downloads. Next, you should absolutely get yourself a mod manager. Mod managers are very useful for installing mods and whilst it is possible to install mods manually, I do not recommend it. If you've already got a mod manager in mind, then install it and get it set up. If you've not, if you're new to this, I would recommend you try Vortex. It is very beginner friendly and it will do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. You can find Vortex if you go to Nexus Mods, go to Support and then click Install Vortex. Download it and install it. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Once it's installed, head along to the Games panel by clicking here and check that Vortex has either detected Starfield automatically or scroll down and find Starfield and hit a button marked Manage. It's possible that your mod manager will tell you that it cannot find where you've installed the game. In that case, you will need to set the path manually. In Vortex, you can either set the path in the pop-up that appears, or you can go along to where it says Show Details for Starfield, click there, and hit Manually Set Location. You will then need to manually navigate to where your game is installed. If you are using the Windows Store, and I believe Game Pass, you will find this wherever you install Xbox games. By default, this is the C drive. I've changed mine to F. And if I go into Xbox games, you'll be looking for a folder called Starfield and then a folder called Content. Click Select Folder once there and you're done. If you have the Steam folder, you will obviously need to know where you've installed Steam. For me, I've installed it on the F drive again. So I'll go to Steam. And from there, you need to go to Steam Apps, Common and find Starfield. That will be your game installation folder. Now, I don't have it on Steam yet. I will be buying it in a few days, so I have it in both systems. But I'm going to recommend if you've not bought the game yet and you do intend to buy it, you purchase it on Steam. And that's because the Steam version of the game is almost certainly going to be the most mod compatible version. Believe it or not, the hard part is over. And I know you're probably thinking, but we haven't even installed a single mod yet. OK, let's do that. I'm going to install BetterHUD because it's absolutely awesome. I love this mod. You go along to the Nexus page. I'll leave a link to this one in the description down below. Read the page. Yeah, read everything it says if you possibly can, especially any notes about installation. 
this particular mod is very straightforward to install. This is how easy it is. Go to the file section, find the file that you need. Now for me, I need better HUD, location and XP because this is the change I want. I click mod manager download. And if Vortex is not already open, it will open up and begin to download. If you're not sure, you can click download and it will probably say, oh, you've already done this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cancel it. Once it's downloaded, all you need to do is click here or right click and select install and the mod will install itself. That's it. <laughs> That's how easy it is. Now what this mod does is it moves the experience and discovery notifications from the center of the screen to the lower section. There you go. So I now know that this mod is working. Now there is one last thing I would like to show you and that is how to handle engine injector mods. To do that, I do need to briefly explain the difference between your game folder and your data folder. If I open up my game folder from Vortex, this is where I set earlier as the game folder. Most of the mods that you install will get deployed into the data folder here, but not all of them. Some of them will actually need to be deployed into the game folder itself. Now these mods are a lot rarer than the other sort of mod, but I have a feeling they will be quite popular early on with Starfield. So you need to know how to identify them. And it's actually pretty easy because most mod authors who make such mods will clearly tell you in the installation section that you need to extract this mod to the game's root folder, or they might describe it as the game folder, or they may say something like, install this into the root folder, not the data folder. And the way you do that with Vortex is very easy. Once you've downloaded the mod in question, you install it as before, and then once it's installed, double click on the mod, scroll down to where it says mod type, open the drop down menu and select engine injector. It will then require a redeploy and it now moves the files to where they need to be, which is in the game folder. But please note, only do this if the mod author clearly states on the mod page under the installation section that you need to install this into the game or the game root folder, not the data folder. And that's it. You are now ready to mod your game. And might I say on behalf of the entire modding community, welcome. If you have any problems, any questions, ask, you know, in the video down below or join our Discord or many of the various modding community forums out there. The community is great and they would love to help you. And so, ladies and gentlemen, all that is left for me to say is, I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, remember, as always, have fun. This is where we belong. <laughs> <laughs>